Hi people, welcome to my platform. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got uh, this right here where we need to find the value of x. x is right here and over here. Okay, so before we answer this question, let me take up this opportunity to share with you some of the properties that you need to know under logs. So when you've got a uh, log, okay, x plus log y, this is the same as a log over x multiplied by y. The other property that I wish to share with you is uh, this one. When you've got log over x minus log of y, this is simply equal to log over x over y, like that, okay? Another property which I feel is important for your own use, though I'm not going to apply it here, it's this one. When you've got a log over log, log over x and the base here it's x. This will simply be equal to a 1. Okay. So you can keep these properties for your own use. You ha just have to, to, to master them. They work very, very, or they are very useful to questions like this one. Okay. So in this question, the question we have right here, we will take advantage of this property right here. This is the property we shall apply at some point. Okay. So let's, uh, let's, let's go to the question and see what we can do. So on our question here, we first need to check. Do we have the same bases? This is three and three. Yes, they are the same. So if the bases are the same, we shall group the like terms. Now look at what I'm doing here. This is what you are expected to, to do, okay? You just group the like terms. You shall remain with the two here. You can see what has happened. This stuff has just crossed the equal sign, okay? So after doing this, you now apply the property that I told you. So this is log base 3 of 2x plus a one so it will be divided by log base 3 over 3x okay 3x minus a one is equal to a two so you can see what has happened now I've just applied the the property I shared one of the properties I shared with you so this will be divided it will be down here and here, we shall just remain with a 2. Okay. So once we see that we have applied that property, we can now say log base 3, okay, of what? Of, uh, let me create some space, some more space. So here it will be like this. Log base 3 over 2x plus a 1 over 3x minus a1 is equal to a2. Okay, so now here, look very careful. When you reach this point, let me do this. When we reach this point, let me copy it here. Log base 3 over 2x plus a1 over 3x minus a1 is equal to what? is equal to 2. We are at this point, and this is where we are. When you reach this point, you now get rid of this log. You shall just say 2x plus a1 over 3x minus a1 is equal to, you get this, the base which is here. You write it here as a base. And whatever is this side must become a power. You see, they were written. So I've gotten rid of uh, the log where we shall remain with 3x plus 1 over, actually it's 2 here, over 3x minus a 1 is equal to a 9. Now we solve this equation, okay? So let me create space. 
Okay, let me create space. We are at this point where we have uh, uh, 2x plus 1 over 3x minus the 1 is equal to a 9. So now from this stage, we can cross multiply. So we shall have uh, 2x plus uh, a 1 is equal to 9 multiplied by 3x minus 1, like that. So this is 2x plus a 1, which is equal to 27, 27x. That is 9 times 3x, 27, minus 1, and uh, minus 9, because 9 times negative 1, it's a negative 9. So here we group the like terms. And this is what... Uh, what we're getting, 27x is equal to negative 9 minus 1. This one will come this side. So from this stage, we have uh, a negative 25x is equal to negative uh, 10. We divide by negative 25 by negative uh, 25. x and x will go. So our value, the value of x here, the negative and negative will go. 5 into 10, it's a, it's a 2. Into 25, it's a, a 5. So it will be 2 over 5. This is our solution. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Isichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.